in Arizona. Welcome to Tanya and Friends. This is a community show about the community, for the community, and involving our community. This morning I have my wonderful co-hosts with me. I have Dr. Will, Kelly, Will. and Bridget. Stay tuned for more exciting events. So we're going to open doors. Mr. Rocky Gather called the big designer that we're bringing who designed this beautiful piece and most of our show is here with us. He's going to go on TV right now and with you guys, Carrie Peña, I'm going to change and I do a drag queen change. Bye. So tell our viewers today about the piece that you've designed that we are standing right in front of here today. Uh, this was worn by Paulina Rubio, the Latina singer. and. She used it in Miami, in a concert in Miami. I actually do it especially for her. It's just an amazing piece. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about tonight and, and what uh, what your designs are all about. It's a beautiful event here tonight. It's more of wearable arts. Um, it's not the usual dress you can see. Yeah. Uh, so what inspires your design? What, what gives you the inspiration to create the designs that you have? My biggest inspiration is the celebrity in Hollywood. Uh, they they push me so much to create something like this, so I'm I'm happy that uh, I'm working with those celebrities. That's amazing. So you have the opportunity to talk to them about what they like, what they're looking for, and then you just create this beautiful work of art for them that they actually get to wear in, in, in concerts or out at the red carpet or different events that they attend. Yeah, they were mm, most of the time in a in a concert and show in Las Vegas. Amazing. Tell us about some of the celebrities you've designed for. Well, I just did a video of Gwen Stefani. We are here at Smoka 2016, and I'm here with a fabulous interior designer by the name of Brian. And Brian's going to talk to us a little bit about his, his designs and his remodels in bathroom and kitchen designs. Hi, um, I'm here just to talk about our bathroom and kitchen trends. Um, things that are trending right now is uh, reclaimed wood, um, farmhouse sinks for the kitchen, polished nickel, which is a great design, um, shiny chrome, things that sparkle and bling, chandeliers for the bathroom and freestanding tubs. Those are the amazing trends right now. So tell me, um, how long have you been doing this? About 11 years. And you have your own show, or you were pitching for your own show? Um, I did an interior design show that did not get picked up. Bummer. Um, but I do work for Ferguson Interior Design. Um, I have an Instagram page. And then I've also done a couple um, TV spots with Arizona, Good Morning Arizona, and then also ABC 15. So yes, I've done a couple design shows. So, so tell us your, 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 your Instagram spot and your website. Um, it is runbribri.com. Wow, yes. I, I'm an, a marathon runner, and yes. So it's, it's kind of fun. So what got you started in doing this interior design and creativity? And well, I did uh, visual merchandising for The Gap for about uh, 15 years. And then I did visual merchandising for uh, J. Crew, And it's just a natural progression. Homes is where we live and where we breathe. And it's what makes us happy. And at the end of the day, if we don't have a comfortable home, how can you re-energize re, uh, yourself? I mean, it's an amazing thing. I, I agree, exactly. Yes. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us of today course. and tell our viewers about your amazing work that you do. Thank you very much.
Tanya and friends will be right back. Welcome back to Tanya and Friends. Smoka 2016, and we're here with Oscar. Oscar, can you tell us about this fabulous event that you put together for everybody tonight? This is a, a, uni a unique occasion in town. The museum has a series of programs. We don't have a fashion week. We don't have a fashion uh, a program. This is an odd situation, an odd night. It is a lot of fun. It's the first time that it's done in the museum. It's not going to happen again. But the community came together to do an avant-garde evening. Is avant-garde is the is the mix between art and fashion. And you guys look Amazing. fashionable tonight. Well, thank you. Oh my gosh, Oscar, this bike jacket you have on. Tell me, is this you? Oh well, this is me. You can touch me right now. But the jacket is from a, a designer in Kuwait and is representing Los Angeles by Ford the Stars Fashion House, who is one of the houses who are helping us tonight to provide the design and the designers. Oh, right on. Okay. So he, was he one of the designers? No, Ford the Star Fashion House represents multiple designers from all over the world. Ford the Star Fashion House is bringing to us tonight three of their main designers, being Rocky Gathercole, the top of them. And if you go outside, I think you have B-roll, we have all the gowns used and all the garments used by the big stars. TV, radio, print, all the big stars. But I think, I don't know if you miss, there is Jennifer Lopez, Lady Gaga, Katy Perry. So we have these garments just for tonight. Wonderful. Now what was the cause for this? Is there like... The community help. Wonderful, because I mean, you did, this was amazing. Is, I'm so proud and so happy that you guys are here. Tonya and friends, if you guys have seen them, they're putting this show together with a huge labor of love. And this is a window for the entire community to talk about what we do as, co as a community. Yes, it is. And I want to thank you for inviting us. Absolutely. My here. pleasure. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. And see you come to Smoka. Go visit smoka.org if you want to be in any of our events or any of our programs. And I sign off. I have to go back and be fashionable. Yes, thank you. Thank you.
Tanya and friends will be right back. Hi, we're Cynthia and James Scott. We're the owners of Nickel City Clothing and Books. Nickel City is where your five cents count. When you shop in our store, we donate 55 cents from each purchase to sober living homes, homeless women, and battered women's shelters. So if you spend money in our store today, your five cents really will count. We try to make sure that we keep our prices low for the community. We don't have anything in our store that costs over $50. So if you're looking for a job, we also help you with interview clothes. We also send books out to prisoners. We're trying to do something in our community. So come down to Nickel City Clothing and Books where your five cents will count. Welcome back to Tanya and Friends. Hello, this is Kelly Dion with Tanya and Friends, and we are out here at Turf Paradise today, and we are here with Israel Hernandez, one of the jockeys that will be riding today. Tell us a little bit about your experience, your wins, and, and what you have expected for the day. I rode the first race today, and I win. And um, I got my second year here, and uh, I win 75 races already. And he's try every time and I'll be here. Well, we're excited to see you race today. Thank you so much for taking a moment to talk with us today and you have a great rest of your day riding. Thank you very much. This is Tanya and friends here at Turf Paradise. I'm standing next to an amazing trainer, Robert Tarantino. Did I say that correctly? Robertino Diodoro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I do apologize. So share with me, what do you do out here? Uh, I train roughly 60 horses here during the winter, and uh, this is the final weekend at Turf Paradise, and then we move on to other racetracks from here. But uh, we're here eight months of the year, and I said train roughly 60 horses. So you've been doing this for four years here? Uh, no, no, I've, uh, this is my 10th or 11th year. I've trained horses for 20, 21, 22 years, and 10th or 11th season at Turf Paradise. Oh, okay, and what is your statics, your statistics with this? Um, been the lean trainer here the last uh, three years, past three years, so yeah. Okay, wonderful, great. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a great place to winter, and. Uh, as you can see today, there's lots of good uh, racing fans here in Phoenix. Yes, and the weather is just perfect today. So can you tell us a little bit of um, the races that we had already today? Um, well, I've, I just ran one that was uh, the favorite that didn't run up the, uh, that ran up the track, so it didn't run very well. So I got a few people that aren't uh, very happy with me. But uh, um, no, it's a great weekend of racing. And like I said, it's the final weekend. Ends tomorrow with the Oslo La Vista. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the long. Well, it is one of the longest races in the country on run on the grass, uh, mile and seven eighths, and uh, like I said, final weekend. So, how many more are we expecting of your trainer? Uh, for me to win? Yes. Well, hopefully a couple more. I got one more today and three tomorrow, so it'd be nice to end off on a good note. So, we've been in a little bit of a slump, but we're hoping to end off with a good note. So, after this weekend, where do you go next? Uh, most of these horses we have here go to uh, Iowa, to Prairie Meadows, and Minnesota. Oh, okay. Yeah, just kind of split the stable up between uh, Canterbury and uh, Prairie Meadows. All right. And if we understand correctly, you are number four in the United States as one of the top trainers? Yeah, fourth on, uh, on wins right now. Now, Robert, we were just talking there, <laughs> and you were telling me you're from Alberta. Yeah, Calgary, Alberta. And been riding since you were like what nine years old? Uh, well, actually, I've been training horses all my life. Like, I mean, uh, I've been born in my parents, and so I was born into racing. Um, started training when I was 19, and I'm 42, so I've been training 23 years. All right, and so you started over in Canada. Started in Canada and uh, started bringing horses to Phoenix uh, about 11 years ago, and right now at the present time we have horses at five different racetracks: Woodbine in uh, Toronto, Canada, uh, Canterbury, which starts up here in a couple weeks, Minnesota, uh, Prairie Meadows in Iowa, and then year-round in Southern California. Okay, and so you have multiple races going on at all times, I do understand. Right, and I got uh, three, uh, three assistants that work for me, and they can control the other racetracks, and I kind of travel around, guess. And not only that, 
You're going to be go become an American citizen real soon, right? Yeah, that's going to be uh, within the next uh, 30, 60 days here. That's going to be all finalized, so looking forward to that. Call me up so I can come and celebrate with you. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Sounds thank good. you so much. No, thank you. Derby Day Club, the biggest party today. Jerry. It would be Jason, but we're all good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank that you. adds to the Derby. That's Absolutely. right. So tell us what the concept of this. Concept is nothing in Arizona has gambling, DJs, being trackside, being with a celebrity chef like Eddie Matney. Yeah, this is it. as good as it gets on a 75 degree day. Here we are having the time, having the time of the valley. Yeah. It's yeah. a great, first of all, there's nothing like this that ever happens. We're out here, we're there, the energy's incredible, the excitement's awesome, the people are just like, oh my God, this is awesome. The outfits are out of control. They should have, instead of the Kentucky Derby, they should have the Phoenix Derby because we're dressed so well. So what do you think? I think, honey, you're perfect the way you are. I told you what happens. I get a little shiver when I see you. So, tell me, you said if you, it's Connected with the derby and the rugby and well, we came up. We, we 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 produce the most attended polo event in the United States, and it's the 16th hole of the Phoenix Open. But with polo, it happens every fall out at Westworld of Scottsdale. So we said, hey, why don't we do a derby thing? And you can see the results of that. People are out here drinking. They're having a good time. They're eating Chef Matney's amazing food. And you know, what better way to spend a 75 degree day than oh, here with this you? Weather is amazing. Look at this, guys. You're missing out. Come out here. How long are you going to be out here today? We'll be out here till 5 o'clock. Eddie will be here probably till 8.30, nah. shutting it down, <laughs> nah, you know, having some down. cocktails I'm going and stuff. back to the restaurant. But I have to tell you, you know why this succeeds so much? Do you know why this does? Because Arizona's crying for this. There's nothing like this. So when Jason gets this crazy thing in his head and it goes, it's awesome to be a part of it. And Arizona wants this. They need this. And this is awesome. You've got to come out. I don't know why you're not here. You know what? We're too busy. Don't come out. Eddie, tell everybody where your restaurant is located. Oh, it's in Old Town Scottsdale. It's on uh, right on the northwest corner of Indian School in Marshall Way. It's called Eddie's House. Eddie's House. Not any other Eddie. They're imposters. I'm the original and the only one. Eddie. Actually, soon to come, Eddie and Jason's Grill. Oh, you heard it here first. That's right. At the Derby right. Day Club. At, at the Paradise. Derby Day Club. Right. right. Yes. That's right, guys. Give my TV show a shout out for me. Tanya and Friends in the house. Tanya Friends in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much and enjoy you. your evening. Thank, right. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Oh, wow. What could I run into? Raven, the awesome promoter, entrepreneur. Hey, she does it all. She's out here at the Derby Day, biggest party we have. Raven, how long have you been doing this? Hey, Tanya. And this is my girl, too. <laughs> how long have you been doing this? You mean producing and marketing events? Uh, 13 years, since 2003. And I mean, like, you're everywhere. I try to be. <laughs> Every time I blink, I see you on social media. Well, that's the name of the game. I started this before social media, but I had to kind of, you know, go with the flow now. Not only that, you have your own jewelry line. I is this a, a piece boutique. of your? Yes, this is from my boutique. And so is the dress. Look at this, yes, guys. The Look. hat, the whole Raven's Boutique. <laughs> On top of everything. Now, I know not only do you do party events, you do other type events, charity events. Oh, yeah. Share a little bit of that. Private dinner parties, uh, holiday galas, uh, networking events, you name it. Pretty much everything. So you have it right here, the original Raven in the house, my girl. Mm. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Thank everybody. Thank you all for being here and supporting this event. It's the first year. And I remember, think we're going to do it again. <laughs> and remember, stay tuned to Tanya and Friends Yes. every Friday morning at 630. If I have the time to do it, you can do it too. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, Tanya. Great seeing you, girl. Great to see you too. Thank you for stopping by Balam here at Turf Paradise at the biggest party today, the Derby Day Club here at Perp Terrace. 
What brought you out today? Uh, just coming out to support the community and meet with John and get to know the people here in town. It's a great event. It's a great day. It's a beautiful day. So, yeah. Hold on. Wait a minute now. I recognize you from Catch. Correct. So tell me a little bit about that now. You're only doing more than just this community <laughs> stuff here. Yeah, I'm also actually an actor and a producer here in town. I was on a TV show, The Catch. Uh, just came out on ABC on Thursday nights. I was also in American Sniper and a few other shows, about TV shows and movies that you probably have seen. And yeah, I was in the Air Force, I was in the military. That's what got me into the movie business, uh, doing military support and military uh, advisory. And I got into acting and started producing from there. Wow, isn't that amazing? It's awesome. Thank you for serving right. our country. You're welcome. Now, I told, you also said you were a bodyguard for somebody? Yes, I was a bodyguard on the catch. I was a bodyguard for the main princess. She was the princess on, I believe, the second, third, and fourth episode. We wow. were yeah, on all three episodes. So, when can we watch the show? Yes, you can. You can actually go online to ABC, watch it online, or it comes out every Thursday night. At what time? I believe at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. every Thursday night. Wonderful. Is there any upcoming project you're working on? Uh, one of the shows I just started working on is MacGyver, which they're bringing it again. No! My favorite all-time show. So, yeah, that one. And that's about it for now. Trying to do more jobs here in Arizona. The goal is trying to work more in Arizona, bring more movies, more projects to Arizona. So, yeah. That's the plan. Let's keep our finger crossing, hopefully. Let's keep in touch. Definitely. You're always welcome to come on the show, Tanya and friends. Let's do something together. Let's, Let's do collaborate it. and do something, Let's okay? Let's do it. Definitely. Thank you so much for stopping by and, and having an interview with You're us. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, my name is Leslie Martin. I'm here at Leslie Martin Hair and Makeup. Um, if you're looking, for, if you have an event that you're going to, or um, going out for a party, or just want to come in and get regular everyday hair services, I offer any salon services such as hair extensions, natural hair, braiding. I'm located on 352 South Farmer Avenue in Tempe, Arizona. Once again, if you're looking for that change or just want something new, definitely come check me out at Leslie Martin Hair and Makeup. Hi, I'm Cece. Join me at Sutra Midtown Yoga or Sutra Roosevelt Yoga for some ego-free, friendly, fun, fast-paced, slow-paced, whatever you're into, we've got it. It's gonna be fun, so join us. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tanya and Friends TV. I am here at Metro Center for the drill bowl for cancer and right now I'm going to have a little chit chat with Lynn Austin aka um, <laughs> this is her Lynn Hi. Austin Hi. so and this is my girl Maya Hi I'm Minister Maya and introduce to the bomb and she was telling me about some amazing accomplishments that she has um, overcome in her life one in particular is this is her first book so you can yeah a little bit I said a um, I said a um, goal last year that I wanted to be a published author uh -huh. and I wanted to write this book called The Bomb Amen. and uh so, you know, the Lord works in mysterious ways. I thought that was going to be my first book, uh -huh. but one weekend in February, I actually wrote three books mm -hmm. the same weekend, and they were these three. Um, the 12-step approach to sponsorship, the little book of positive affirmations, and press interview skills, um, teaching you how to, how to be in front of the media. Uh -huh. The interesting thing about this one, though, mm -hmm. this is my, this is the first one that was actually published, and, um, so it's 20 different areas of life with 20 positive affirmations under each area that lets you just reshape how you look at things in your life. So, it's so from not from someone that has not written uh, read your book, what would you say is the takeaway, the main takeaway from your book? The main takeaway is the things that you say and do and think affect how you live and how you are. And again, that's what the bomb is. And, and she's the bomb. Again, I'm the that's bomb. Tanya and Friends with Mrs. Mm -hmm. Maya. And you can, uh, <laughs> you can find out more at www.bettingonme.com. Thank you very much. Good morning. Come dribble for cancer. It's for a good cause. Come on out.
Okay, guys, I'm back here. Dribble for Cancer. Standing right next to me is Mr. Perry P. Welcome. Thank you for coming out. Oh my gosh, look at this. He has a new book out. Mrs. Maya. Hi. She's going to talk to him about it. Hi, again, I'm Minister Maya, and I'm here with Mr. Perry P. Standing on faith. Look at this. Amen. Standing on faith right here? Yes. I try to lay on it because I need all the faith I can get possibly right now. But, you know, but they just told me I get up. They told me get up, so y'all missed it. Full disclosure, he was born with a spinal muscular atrophy. It's an incurable, very rare disease. Yeah. And, <laughs> so, and, and the thing is, is that what I decided to do after that tragedy is that I felt like there are millions, if not billions, of people out there that deal with something. I mean, obviously, yeah. their tragedy doesn't have to be That's the right. same narrative as mine, but. Even though everybody goes through something, not everybody knows how to come out of it. Yes. So I felt that through this book, Rising from the Ashes, turning your tragedy into triumph, this can turn your tragedy into triumph. Yes. And that was the motivation behind this. That's very inspiring. Yeah, very inspiring. Yeah. We look forward to reading more about your book. I know it, it takes a lot to keep a marriage together. Oh, yeah. And in the book, what I read is that uh, at least 78, 75% marriages end after you lose a child. And unfortunately, that is unfortunate. However, God got the victory in this oh, yeah. through faith, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. as I understand. Oh, yeah. And through faith, your marriage got stronger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the beauty of the book, and you have to read, I won't spoil it, but um, the doctor had told him that him and his wife could not have a male child because of this rare birth defect. Mm -hmm. And who do, who do we know? We know God, and we know God has the last say. Oh, that's right. that's and the right. last say was, man, don't say it. Whose report will you believe? Amen. And not only did um, he later have another child, but he's a healthy, vibrant, one-year-old boy to this Big day. <laughs> so again, Mr. Perry P., thank you so much. Thank you.